Y'all doing here? You've destroyed my town, trashed my lab, and banged up my body. You've really gone and done it now. Save no one. Nothing I say right now will get through to Julie. I have a bad feeling though. I need to save Noah, even if it means suppressing Julie. <laughs> oh, that's right. Before we start the interrogation. There's a rebellious girl we need to calm down. Ugh. <sighs> Got that, Chloe! Stop it, Professor! Hear them out! I'll interrogate Chloe after. But you're first. I'd like to teach you a lesson for opposing me. Woohoo! Well, aren't you a little mystified? I can put you under a guillotine like the princesses of old. How about that? Professor, please forgive them. I know Noah wouldn't have done this without a reason. Exactly, Professor. They must have had their reasons. This treatment is inhumane. <laughs> inhumane? <laughs> She's a system that rebels. If you pity her, I'll just do this. <laughs> Noah. God damn it. Well, do you remember she's only a system now? See, appearance is key. It's everything. Humans all talk about the heart. But things that don't look human don't quite get treated as such. Now, you won't be misled by that foolish pity of yours. It's easier to investigate the truth now, isn't it? <laughs> Stop it. I'm the one who dragged Noah into this. She has nothing to do with any of it. Shut up. I'm not asking you, Chloe. Plus, you're the one who was dragged into this. I was? What? This was her goal all along. She's been looking for a chance to have Patroclus kick up a rebellion. She couldn't have pulled off such a large scale feat. Without making preparations early. Right, Noah? Oh, <laughs> I'll give credit where it's due. You did great in outwitting me. See, she took over the urban management arc that operates the city. Unnoticed. This was a planned uprising. The urban management arc? I can't imagine Noah's server having the power to pull that off. Exactly. That's how formidable she is. How she did it was ingenious, wasn't it, Noah? Uh, uh, I'm telling you now, silence won't help you. Everything will be clear as day. If I look at the devices, the Troclus members we captured used. What do you mean by that, Professor? Her idol work in town gave her enough processing power to move the urban management arc. She made a network of her pen's devices and used them as her second server. Once a song is saved to the device, it manifests as the virus it is. Every time the song is played, her fans unknowingly and diligently provide power to Noah. <laughs> Noah, you were only an idol to hijack people's devices, weren't you? You said the nicest things, too. Oh, you love people. But in reality, it was so you could use them for whatever they could supply you. <laughs> How nasty. Is what she said true, Noah? No way. I won't believe it. You sung for the sake of the people, right? I... Oops. You're stripped of your right to speak. I don't need to hear any Hold them. Noah? Yamato, you wear naivete like a silver watch. Someone who cares for the people wouldn't be the leader of Patroclus in the first place. She had Patroclus spread worry and discord, then soothe them with song and dance, causing problems and solving them. Controlling the city's arc and the hearts of men. Was an arc rebellion your aim? Were you trying to become a god of this world? No. Noah wouldn't. 
Hush now, Chloe. I told you to shut up, didn't I? I'm confused about the turn of events. How it's gonna... It was going so well. You may have been dragged in, but I haven't forgiven you. I'll make sure to give you a punishment that you can look forward to later. So, rhombus object, you might think you've hidden it well, but I already know where the second server core is. I'll be extracting the information for real now. Digital music box from the old ages? The one in the sunroom? Oh! It's the antique from Coco's house. And here I thought this was a mere piece of Counselor Kokonoe's collection. Nothing more. You touched it. What? Huh? <laughs> Professor! What the fuck? What's happening to you? Even if your software security is perfect, your hardware itself is your weakness. I've been waiting for you to touch it and get shocked silly, rendering you immobile. Noah! Noah! What the hell are you doing? Uh, stop it already! What the hell is going on? Shut up! <laughs> Noah! Why? What are you doing this for? When I synchronized with Anima, I realized... Julie's the real danger, not Anima. Huh? Chloe, you said that you weren't terrified of the giant meteora we saw. But that's a future we mustn't welcome. You should never meet that thing. What do you mean? Tell me, Noah. What exactly did you see? What you saw is the monster Julie created. What? That's why I'll completely destroy her. I won't let her future become our future! Love is unconditional. It's worth betting everything on. What... What are you going to do? I'll destroy her inhibitor. You are free, Chloe. You don't need to force yourself to ride the Machia or fear the noise that binds you. Live freely. Uh -uh. And I hope... He'll keep smiling. Uh-uh. Well, she dead then. I definitely saw it in the moment Noah's and Anima's voices synchronized. It was only a split second. But I saw that meteora. It was gigantic. Unlike any other that I've seen before. What the hell? You mean a new type's gonna attack us? If that's the future Noah and Anima showed you, you mean that could be something we have to deal with someday? No. Noah sacrificed herself to take down Julie to change this future. She said Julie was the one who'd create that meteor in the future. In order to prove her experiment, something was up with this picture in her lab. I'm very curious. Created by the professor? Yeah. I see. So, Noah was trying to destroy the cause. Can you even make artificial meteoras? No, I wouldn't put it past that crazy professor. Who knows? What would she have been trying to accomplish in making one? I don't know either. But Noah did. She's the one who synchronized with Anima. Where's She's Anima anyways? The future than I did. Something that I wasn't able to. I guess there's no way to know what it was anymore. Not without Noah. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. Chloe? She's always so selfish. She'd show up when I didn't ask. She'd never care if I was in the mood for her songs. But she'd just go on singing or dancing and never leave me alone. But now, when I want to see her, she's nowhere to be found. She goes off and saves me without saying anything, then tells me to keep smiling. What a joke. Julie was planning something, and Coco was involved somehow. I need to know what it was. I need to know the future Noah saw, no matter what. Uh, me too. But how are we supposed to search for that future? It's not like we can sync up with Anima by singing with her, right? That won't work without Noah either. Yeah. So I've been thinking of a way to revive Noah. Is there one? 
It has to be. Meteoroids recovery function, that might be actually it. You've noticed the meteoroids recovery functions too, haven't you, Alba? Are you talking about how Coco was able to stand right before she was consumed? What the hell? I never heard about that. You don't know shit, Yamada, though. That information wasn't publicly disclosed. There's a possibility the meteora healed her legs before it consumed her. We don't know why, but it definitely happened that night. Coco stood up in front of the meteora on the surface. Her vision may have been restored too. I see. But we can't be certain the meteora healed her. And even if the meteora has healing functions, can it work on Noah who has no physical form? It's true Noah's an avatar, but Anima could see her, right? Oh, right. Anima is a meteora too, which means... Yes. If we can get Anima to help us, we might be able to restore Noah. I know it's idealistic, but I think it's worth a shot. So you're suggesting we gather up her fragments and restore her with Anima's powers? It's worth a shot. But we need to solve a few problems first. We need permission to use the computational space to piece Noah together. We don't have the authority to connect Anima to the space either. Collecting the pieces of Noah means we need access to civilians' devices. Obviously, accessing other people's devices is strictly forbidden and a serious crime. That means it's impossible. Not unless we get, like, the council moving or... Dieter? Yeah. Or General mm -hmm. Dieter. It might work. If we could use Prometheus. Use Prometheus? You make it sound so simple. The general's not that easy to get in contact with either. Maybe for you. <laughs> right. I, on the other hand. General, I have something important to speak to you about. State the main points, Lieutenant Alba Iwasa. You do not decide its importance. It's about Noah. We wish to borrow the power of Prometheus to recover her. The city needs repairing. We have no resources to revive an Ark that started a rebellion. However, Noah had a reason for attacking Professor Julie. Is that all? Please wait! Noah is... our comrade. I'm not asking you as a Machia operator to his general. I'm asking as family. Family? Huh? What's Alba talking about? Ah. Please, hear me out, father. Oh my god, what? <laughs> <laughs> the Meteor's regeneration function, is it? Quite the confidential information for you to extract so easily. It's a crime punishable by death, Lieutenant Chloe. I am prepared for that. However, please allow us to restore Noah before I am punished. She only caused a rebellion because of me. Please. Hmm. Do you even have the right to condemn Chloe? Chloe. The designed human is considered the pride of Prometheus. Yet you had once arbitrarily driven her to the brink of death. That's the real crime. If the council were to discover that, <laughs> even you wouldn't come out unscathed. Familicious. Driven me to the brink of death? Remember when the Alto Machia stopped during battle? That was by the general's orders. Yes, I did give those orders. However, Reporting me would do little. After all, Lieutenant Alba Awaza, you are the one who executed the order and stopped it. The Council would punish you heavily for that. You stopped it? You're kidding me. Alba would never do something like that. Are you prepared for the consequences? I don't care what happens to me. Even though I was tricked, I did put my comrade's life in danger. They could exile me or kill me for it. There's just nothing scarier than losing what's dear to me. Hmm. <sighs> That's a good look in your eyes. There's no pretense. They're eyes of a person prepared to die. Hmm. Professor Julie and Ark Noah were both system administrators and are now both gone. The city is in unprecedented danger. We must recover one of them at the very least. You say Noah can be restored with the Meteora's ability. Very well. Give it a try. Father! Strangely, fate seems to swirl around you, Lieutenant. You Chloe. think strangely? 
You can say it's a talent hard to come by. Whether you foster or stifle it is up to you. It depends on your resolve. Head into the deep sea of information. Bring Noah back. Okay. The fuck is this? Just like Chloe said, there are still fragments of Noah in her fans' devices. If we can accumulate and piece them together, we should be able to revive Noah. Noah's a highly advanced avatar, though. We'll need to go into the world of information to fully revive her. That's why we'll be using this. A cannon? Pythos. Pythos. You'll dive into the computational space inside the Pythos and temporarily piece her together. The reconstructed Noah will need to be input, saved, and recovered. This will be done within Anima. Huh? I brought her. Hi. Hey, don't you dare turn violent. The moment you do something funny, I'm pressing this inhibitor. <laughs> don't listen to him. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> hey, why don't we use the inhibitor at full power and knock it out first? We're only I'll knock you out. recording medium to restore Noah anyway. It'd be dangerous if it gets violent halfway through. No. I mean, those both answers did the same thing. I'm gonna protect anyways. You don't need to use the device. Anima won't become violent. I don't want to hurt Anima anymore either. Why? How can you be so calm? That's a meteora! Yeah. Anima's a meteora. But that's only part of who it is. Are you serious? It's become violent so many times, made weird noises, and hurt you! Bet you dead in under ending, okay? Thank you. It did. But we also heard it too. Even though it was brutal. We've tied it up and bound it with the inhibitor. <sighs> Conflict shouldn't exist. But it's allowed me to understand some things. We're fine. Just entrust everything to us. Anima, do you remember the person who sang with you? The one who floated. She's called Noah. She nags a lot and is pretty obnoxious. <laughs> but now that she's gone, it's like there's something missing. The world's become awfully dreary. I want to save her. No, that's not how I want to go about this. I want to save her. <laughs> Anima, thank you. Mm. Huh. I'm inside a machia. This song. Noah? Noah! Where are you? Answer me! Noah? Noah. What? Noah. You don't know? Noah is your name! Unit name. Artificial intelligence. Machia control. Singer, buddy, Chloe, Chloe, Chloe. Noah, can you see me? It's Chloe. Chloe? Glad you're up. I'm here to take you back to our world. Really? I'm not hallucinating. Am I? Are you really... Chloe? No. Why? Why are you here in front of me? <laughs> this is... Arithmetic space? You can't be serious. You're trying to collect all my scattered pieces and restore me? Exactly that. Everyone's waiting for you. Yamato, Alba, your fans, they're all crying out for your songs. Why would you do that? No, I'm not going. I'm going to fall to pieces here. Leave me alone. This is good enough. This will give us the happiest ending. There's no way you can call this a happy ending. I came to save you. You don't understand. Are you going to let my determination go to waste? What are you talking about? Noah, what are you afraid of? Julie's dead. 
The future you fear has changed. That meteora won't appear anymore, right? No! You've got it all wrong! I have? Julie's not the only one who's dangerous. The truly dangerous one is me. That giant meteora will be born if I exist. That's why I need to be erased and shattered to pieces. Yet, you chased after me all the way here. I freed you and I destroyed Julie. You can go wherever and live however you want. Why are you here? Why would you come into virtual space like this? Hmm. I made my choice. I was free and I willingly made this choice to come here and take you back. I don't care if that meteora appears. It's fine. We'll fight it together. As a team. You and I can defeat any meteora. Right? <laughs> you! Blockhead! Stubborn <laughs> Right back at you. You stubborn, awkward egghead. You don't know anything! You didn't tell me anything. Fine! Then I'll chase you up by force if I have to. I'll make you forget my songs. I won't forget, Noah. Your songs have cared for the now, in both happy and sad times. We've heard you sing for so long. I'm sure we will never be able to forget your voice. We need your songs, Noah. I promise to bring you back with me. I finally got through. Hmm? Is that... Noah? Yeah. This blockhead doesn't want to come home. I'm in the process of persuading her. I see. Then I'll support you to the best of my ability. Arithmetic space or not, I'll fight as usual. <laughs> I'll link my Makani connector to this Machia. Uh. Okay, connected. The Machia should be able to use my brain's processing power to semi auto drive. Ah. <sighs> yeah, well, I'm an arc. These eyes see hundreds of potential battle strategies. And these eyes only see you, Noah. Target's data has changed. <laughs> Something's coming. The storm wave. Bully, the mirror generator. Now we're fighting Noah. Just... Launch mirror generator. Activating mirror phonon. Simulating conversion barrier. Wave to make contact shortly. Chloe, thorn waves can be converted to counter arrows just like in reality. Can we do an ally? Or they can be analyzed. You make the choice. <laughs> well, <laughs> of course we're gonna analyze. What is that noise? You don't understand anything, Chloe. You always listen to my songs. That's because you wanted me to, right? What are you getting at, Noah? Chloe, be careful. She might attack again. Come at me. Don't get in my way. This time, I'll bring Noah back with me for sure. I'll break through that giant shell. Chloe, thorns detected. Launch mirror generator. Activating mirror photon. Simulating conversion barrier. <laughs> Shit. No one's overriding the first barrier. What? Noah! The information in Chloe's mind is being corrupted too. This is the end, Chloe. Don't worry. 
or we will continue to live forever. Uh. Forever in the universe you dreamed of. She fucked me up. I think we have to shoot her because Analyze didn't do shit. Off we go. I guess Lords won't persuade her, so Force is fine with me. <laughs> you don't ask for anything in return. That's what a doll is. Combine cannons. Shit! Here we go. <laughs> Merge left and right cannons. I've adjusted output to 100. If you're happy as you are now. Then you don't need me. I'm going to do everything I've got, Noah. Bye 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 bye. Take this. <laughs> I think that's the right decision, right? I know. She's a handful to deal with. I'll fight you as many times as you want until you come back with me. Okay. 